And we're back in Let It Die. Uh, two things. One, I'm starting to realize the parallels of this game and maybe some sort of abuse situation happening within a relationship because we I just keep coming back and I keep getting my ass handed to me and it's just a bit of a heavy analogy. I shouldn't have used that one, but it's basically just, we're back. <laughs> hey, we're, we're back. Ah. Also, uh, the reason why there was no, like, uh, phase in outro, this sound right now is excellent. It's just like static electricity is solid. Sounds like electricity. Oh, I know why. It's this. Good. <laughs> okay, anyways, stupid electricity bat is super loud, obnoxious. But anyways, what I was saying was uh, the, the reason why there was no, like, Jack Frost intro sliding with the little animated weirdness in the stomach and shit, like the ghost thing. I'm probably showing it right here. The reason why there was none of that is because it's not that I don't love the intro, I love the tears, but one, there was the stupid bit that I was doing. Secondly, I was looking at my analytics recently, and I think every channel does this eventually, and they're like, huh. That whole, uh, <laughs> whole, uh, what do you call it, a stupid intro thing is, uh, really kind of useless. It just makes people annoyed and walk away, <laughs> so we're not going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be retired. Um, I might bring it back into the more personal videos, like videos that are strictly like, hey, updating you guys on shit, <laughs> maybe. But for the most part, I just want to get into the main brunt of the content. I want to start getting better at that, because I'm bad at it, and I think we all know it. I just, I drag ass way too much. But, we are back in Let It Die. Oh, the bass dropped right when I said that. I really gotta change this guy's name, Chad. If your name is Chad, I'm sorry, but I feel like it's one of the, it's a name that is something else. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, it's just mean. Now, what we're gonna be doing in this part is, uh, we're not gonna be messing around with an event. And then getting butt hurt when we inevitably go the wrong way and had no way of knowing we were going the wrong way. The game just like, hey, guess what? I'm gonna fuck you today. And I'm like, what? That's rapey. And it's like, well, that's, I can't, I can't even say that. This, I was watching this Netflix show called 13 Reasons Why. It's, it's a bit. It, it fuck it, it fucked me up a little bit. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is gonna be trying to progress. I do know, uh, give me a sec. I do know, where the fuck is my, is that it? No, it's one page off. Son of a. Bitch. I know the 38, the 36, and the 34. Um, the 34 is Cone. The 36 is um, the uh, the slug, fucking gross, like chunky monster. And then the 38 is uh, is it the gun girl? I might have got the switch. Essentially, the only bosses left are the gun blob who shoots guns at you, um, and then the this disgusting slug thing. The only thing I'm very worried about is, that, as you guys can see, we cannot get into. Um, Azeba, <laughs> this right here, can't get there, um, so I'm wondering what the hell to do about that, uh, well, what I'm thinking is we're gonna be going to Cone, uh, the 34th, 34th floor, fuck me, you get it, <laughs> this floor, and we'll be trying to go up here, but that's the 27th floor, so there's no boss, but there's also no elevator, so that's where I'm at, um, there is an elevator here, so I'm hoping to go over here and somehow find a pathway down here. Um, I could look up a map, but fucking they're pointless because guess what? They're gonna be locked. I'm still annoyed <laughs> and angry. Um, oh, update on the character real quick. Um, so I did some grinding because I was like, you know what? That's my problem probably. It's probably just me being lack, lack there prepared, but not being prepared. And um, that's honestly quite accurate. That's what my problem was. So, when you guys gave me the suggestion to get the death burner, this thing uh, spits out fire now, not just steam. Um, and yeah, I haven't used it at all because I've been saving it uh, in case I run into any sort of big he heavy hitting uh, What do you call it? Uh, randomly generated haters on floors uh, I've been saving it for those people just because they're over leveled and they're just disgusting strong and ugh. Also you guys said to level this up because apparently the fifth like its new generation of it the four star rating is like a thousand damage It goes from like six hundred to a thousand or something crazy uh, which sounds amazing <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like I want it I'm um, also the build that I got going on I just don't have enough time to invest in katanas and they just require a lot of bullshit uh, when I I don't want to have to re upgrade a whole nother thing uh, so I think what I might be doing with this character is I might be changing the way he works and I think the best way to invest is not necessarily in damage um, because most enemies don't take a billion damage or so. What I think the best way to invest in is, uh, where is it? It's stuff like this that increases your attack and defense, um, by 7% when you're wearing a certain faction's armor piece. So this one's DOD. Whenever, whenever I'm wearing DOD anything, I'll get a damage attack bonus, sorry, <laughs> and defense bonus. So I think it's better to go about it that way, because you can get that as well as a 20% increase to DOD. So if I'm wearing, uh, it doesn't matter... 
the the clothing piece so much as it does the um, faction behind that clothing piece if that makes any sense so again you could have a DOD helmet that's like a, the doctor's glasses with the mask and then the helmet or it can have a DOD uh, like construction workers full-on mask like as long as it's DOD it doesn't matter so you can have a weird collage of like colors they don't have to match um, so what I'm planning on doing the thing that with this game that gets me a little bit and I've uh, we're talking about negative things <laughs> but um, it's trying to get just hunt for one resource and that can sometimes be just impossible like all I need is one more waste oil I dedicated like I would say almost no I looked at the time it was like at least an hour I have my playback on because I'm fishing for gameplay but anyways um, I spent that much time going through the bottom levels um, with a lower level character not really a lower level he was like generation 3 anyways I went through all that shit um, I couldn't find one waste oil and it's just like it's that feeling of being like, I just need one. I just want one. Why is it so impossible? Um, and some of you guys uh, also preach uh, very heavily in the comments that um, go make use of the, uh, whatever you call it, the, the moving vendor throughout the Tower of Barb sees this guy who is this guy's brother. Um, he sells all manner of resources as well as blueprints. Now, the only reason I don't really utilize him too much is because in order to actually get to him, you have to go all the way up, like, to this weird, like, district that takes 10 loading screens, With loading screens are not fast if you're not on a PS Pro, I imagine. But also, almost every time you get there, you have, an, uh, like, an expert um, assassin waiting there to kill you. So it's, at least for me, I may be just getting he hyper unlucky with the game, or that just may be the nature of the game. People like to shit on other people, there you go. Um, so those are my, those are my ifs and, and buts and all those, uh, things. That's why I don't go to the one guy is because it just seems like it's a waste of time to go all the way up to this special location, go all the way down to this, like, to this location where he could potentially be at. And he has, like, three spawns throughout each division of the map, so, like, ten and down, etc., twenty and up. He can land somewhere in between these, like, sectioned off areas. And it just doesn't seem worth it to go there, see if he's there, he's not there, great. Go all the way back and keep, pro like, replaying that process. It just seems like a bit a waste of time, especially if, if it's just me. Like, I'm only in there to get green metal. I might as well just go farm the green metal chest um, or get waste oil from just trying to farm out. But then again, sometimes RNG could be unfavoring you in both ways, so... Almost all of it comes back to RNG. Just getting unlucky at times can make you feel like the world's against you, and that's just sometimes not the case. It's just you got unlucky. And it's just like, well, yep, <laughs> shit. But, anyways, enough talking. This is a character we're going to be playing with today. Um, you guys know him. We used him last time. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, this is not okay. I need second life shrooms because they are extremely important to this day still. Oh, we need a lot of different things. I want this. This allows us to go all the way back down to the bottom. It costs a lot, but. I feel like if we ever do get in the rock and the hard place, I can backtrack and save my life. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys, again, update you guys. I just realized the one thing I want to try to minimize is the dragging ass throughout the videos. Like, I just want to jump into the main content, go that way, and see how we fare. Um, and hopefully not rage too hard. I, I do need one. We'll be back. You know what? Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, uh, no. We're not going to have another Invincible Shroom. We're not Invincible Shroom, sorry. Uh, uh, second Chance. Giving me half my health bar if I do get one hit, which does happen a fair bit. I probably should have one. Mm, wait. Hmm. I was wondering, maybe we should go to the 19th floor and just try to get up to the 40th floor. Because the 40th floor isn't a boss so much as it is just you being there, being present. Like, it's a waiting room, essentially. Unless it does just throw you into the boss fight and you're like, hey, get fucked. <laughs> it's just like, oh, please. Um, And we could go down. Is that worth it though? That's sketchy and scary. Yeah, if we go down there, go down here, we can go up there. At least there's a chance, you know what I mean? Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to at least look. I probably should have taken something, like uh, maybe an inv invis shroom, just to be able to get past those enemies, because I still don't think we're strong enough to handle them. So yeah, probably should have prepared more. Um, am I, I'm still kind of like in a weird space with the game. It's no longer as like, gunning it as it was when I was ill and playing the game because I almost like I had to put up with the shit because I was ill and I was just like I'm playing this <laughs> I don't want to switch games I'm just playing this I'll deal with the the game kicking me in the balls but now it's especially with so many other games available it's kind of shitty because I'm like I could be playing those games I gotta drink my coffee mm, okay 
Yeah, I don't have any uh, flavorings. That just tastes like real shit. Ah, I didn't know it should taste like oh, your fucking gene. I do have healing items, so I know there's that. Um, I don't have that good of weapons. Oh yeah, that's the Bowie knife, by the way, or the switchblade, what it turns into. Just like a kind of a, just an average blade. Looks cool in the thumbnail. <laughs> Not really in her hands, because it's a little tiny knife, <laughs> but... That guy has a good saber. Hey, hey, what you want to see? Hey, people. If we could not, I'd be mad happy. I didn't know that was a way. Oh, the tennis ball launcher, my favorite thing. It doesn't do way too much damage. That's just not good. That's what I call not good. In fact, I'd call that a lot a not good. Ow! Now, I'm kind of worried because some of these zones have like a sectioned in place where you have to like throw down. Well, maybe this will start the boss. And if that's the case, that's not what we want. <laughs> Shit. I mean, is if we usually in the past, it's locked because we have to fight the previous bosses. Well, some bitch. I was hoping at least pull the elevator thing. Is Senpai going to be there and be like, listen, dog, <laughs> you, you didn't pull the goddamn lever. This is on you. And I'm like, fuck you, senpai, you piece of shit. Damn. Oh, we did reset the enemy. Oh, great. And I uh, got a hunter on me. Fucking good. I feel like when you breach 30, 30 plus floors, uh, people just are there to kill you. They're like, haha, I'm, you're, you're an endgame, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking destroy you. And I'm like, yeah. Remember the good old days when people threw uh, just their corpse, the little, little, like, the minion's body at me. Just nothing. So that we could just bonk them and then they're dead and you get some sweet... Sweet loot, and then they get some loot, and it's a happy family, but nah. Got people being pieces of shit. Oh, also, I cut my hair. Did you guys notice? Probably not. Ah, I'm that guy. Yeah, I know. I know. Is this potentially like, oh, no, that's a fucking trap. Uh-uh, bitch. I seen that coming. <laughs> As, uh, anything that is sectioned off is a trap and wants to murder you, so, uh, no. How do I, uh, oh. Oh, Christ. Ow, that hurts a lot more than it leads on. I'm just trying to push pie, a guy. Thank you. So it's not this way. I didn't see a lot of other ways to go, so it must be to the left. Which would kind of make sense, because we, we didn't really get another way to go. How am I not running out of stamina? I figured that would definitely be the case. That's real loud. Real, maybe I should have my, my volume too loud? Probably the case. How can you guys keep up with me? I have, like, a, a track runner sticker on that gives me, like, crazy stamina. But yet, you're still on me. In my experience, we can't do damage to these people, so our best case scenario is just to kind of fucking book it. And hope to God we don't die too fast. I'm worried. <laughs> I am real worried, and uh, I think we're, we're gonna die pretty fucking soon. In fact, this is not the way we want to go, but it's fine because we need to reset the level because they're on us. <laughs> they're on us and uh-uh. Yep, the damn tennis ball launcher. I mean, I'm wearing like a thousand some resistant armor only on the chest. I need to work on the pants thing. I just, god damn it, dude. <laughs> pants thing is bullshit. Oh, do you want to go this way? No. Actually, maybe. Well, let's see. What would that put us at? Was that 20? Some bitch, I shouldn't have looked yet. Well, someone set a fire after me, you cuck. <laughs> Actually, that may be what we want. The 27th? I could see there being a, a thing there, maybe. Now, see, that thing is dead on center, so you think that has to be a, a save point. Because it's only 20, oh, 26, that is a boss floor, though. It's shitty shit. We could go all the way down here or try to get through. I mean, we could try to, go to get to the orange down. The orange going down. Maybe that's a bad idea. Also, you guys told me how to f how to deal with these people. Essentially, you just gotta let them beat the shit at you, and then finally, when they're done, that's your window slash your opportunity to fight back. Hey, guys with sabers, like the worst people. I should have probably ate something. That was my mistake. I'm stuck on a ledge. I'm stuck on a ledge, and that's not. Yep, that's my fault. That was my fault because I was stuck on a fucking ledge and I'm gonna probably die let's eat an invincible room because I just don't wanna ha I just wanna handle it. And in fact, 
Nope, nope, nope. It's a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Let's get our health back. Eat this. That's an XL. Barely healed me. Son of a bitch. I mean, it's the batting yard. I guess it makes some sense. As much as it is mean. This is going... Actually, actually, it's what we want. Huh. Wow. Well, I don't have a second life, so we're probably going to be just chucking down these damn Invincious Rooms. And just trying to get anything. <laughs> just any health. Oh! That's... That's actually a, a pull down. It's on the grid. I've never seen it not be that unless the game's just beat. No, it's got it's got me. It's got me in its heart. Yes. <laughs> yes. And 27 is not a boss level. So making prog. Not really. We still haven't killed the boss. Um, I imagine the boss is that down one. But since we came from up top, its game is being like weird. <laughs> Maybe that's just an, a, like a way you can do it. My invis just, just ran out. Not invis, my immortality. Not my immortality, my mortality. I'm sure you guys got it. I just thought I'd, you know, say that's the right thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust this, to say the least. In fact, I'm gonna eat my Invincis Room and just run. And then when, when we do need to fight, I have my, my acid, not my acid, my fire shit. Well, we can see if the iron is worth anything. What the fuck? Why? Ow! I hate how they cancel your shit, you know what I mean? That's that's some annoying crap. Why am I not hitting them? Like, I get you're hitting me, but that shouldn't cancel my damage. You fucking psycho. 800? Sure, put on his crap. As well as replace that. No, I don't want to- I don't want to do that, but okay. My invincible shit is going away. Is now- am I now my full? No, I'm not. Good. Oh. <laughs> Pure copper. I feel like this is more important. I'm gonna be trying to prioritize this. And I'm about to run on my run on my invis my invis is <laughs> There's a lot of blood this way. Let's, let's follow it. Because that's really smart. It doesn't nope, apparently that's not the right way. How do we get to the next point? Where the fuck? This is a maze. AKA this is some shit. I mean, sure. The money? Great. Yeah, that's what I wanted. This might be like, it's $12,000, dude. How can you be mad about it? It's like, well, you'd be surprised how little that is. I think I just went around. I think I just hardcore. No, this is new. New enough to eat this and hope to God that we're going to be okay. Uh, no, just money. Hey, fuckers. Fuckers. <laughs> I just want to pull the lever, dude. Oh, this is very bad. Game, please don't fuck me here. Why? Thank you. Yep, I got a little bit of life left. So, or not life, invincibility. Before I am semi just screwed. Oh, but there's this. This is a gamble. This is a gamble. And maybe my death. Yep. Ow. I thought maybe the, that would stun him like every other melee attack. Guess not. Okay. In the nick of time, we pulled something. Something. Ha oh, okay. I just want to leave before that guy comes to kill me. Okay. Well, we just. We we'll use a ton of invincible shrooms just to gun it through a level, just to flick some switches on. Um, again, the reason why that's not good for me, like, I get, what I should be doing is we should be like, hey, backtracking, because this is what happens when you overextend. And I didn't know the uh, the damned armor became the pinnacle of everything when you did get it late game. I thought maybe because it's weird because in the beginning that you they kind of like seed this idea of like, hey, your fist. If you put the time in, your fist can actually become just as strong as like a knife. Which is awesome, like, especially when you're piloting this, like, crazy-looking human, right? And you're like, that's amazing. Turns out, no, it's not the case. Which is super sad. I was hoping your fist, did, like, like, had, like, twice the level-up ability and, like, and negated the shit out of the, the, the amount you gain. So what I'm saying is, like, it, it takes longer to level up as well as it having more to level up. Um, so it's just of two negatives, but if you are able to 
use your fists enough, it can become insanely powerful. Like, it, it'd be great to actually um, have your fists be fast, and then, like, boxer fists, and then if you want to, like, do a left hook, it would take a lot longer, but there would be that draw there, opposed to just being like, so you have this hit, and then you have this hit. Uh, you can only really get away with uh, the heavy hit if you initiate with a lighter hit, and then a hit, 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 and then it's stupid. <laughs> Also, I maxed his character out. He's level 25. I think I said there was somewhere like 30 is where he's at. I'm happy with that. Actually, that can work with this dude's build because it's a two-handed weapon and uh, it does a lot of damage, right? How much does this do? Okay, no, this is like 300. All right, <laughs> so this one does not as much. I thought maybe it did more. No, <laughs> no. I need mass of iron and bolts. Dang it. Um, then again, I'm just kind of... One of you guys, again, one of you guys said that this becomes like godly when you reach the next evolution of it. So I'm trying to get there. Um, and I could see that because I love this thing, but I will say Some weapons there's like a what the fuck theory theory calm down. All right. What are you doing? My phone's near me and it's listening, but What I was getting at was uh, essentially there like this weapon has a weird opening um, And I hate certain weapons because they almost protect certain enemies. So like I think it's this one Nah, it wasn't that I think it's this this stupid thing, when they do the wind up like backhand smack, what ends up happening, and it's super annoying, is they have like the the ball almost carries their weight, so they kind of duck down a little bit. So if you have a certain weapon that hits in a certain like angle, they just you just whiff and you just clear them, and they end up getting through your damage despite you hit the button faster or you planned uh, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, for instance, the uh, the katana is one of the easiest weapons to fight against because it has a giant opening. As soon as they hit and they whiff, you can dive in um, and get the hit because it has a high recovery time, all that other stuff, or a low recovery time, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, things like the uh, this, the, the steel one, as well as this, um, they're both really hard to read. I've come to just wait until they're done and then just dive at them the minute that I think there's they've stopped because it just looks. Real fishy when they're about to keep going, and yeah, anyways, moving on. I'm <laughs> pretty sure you guys get, get it. Um, I want to do more, but we kind of did what I wanted, <laughs> so I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, we got to the 27th floor. We originally got to the 29th. We went down two floors. I was hoping to get to this thing right here, which is right below that. You wouldn't think that'd be another... Do they do that? I guess we are right here, 31, 30, 30. Then again, that, that's the start of the level. Do they do that on a norm? No, there's always like a gap. Now this is, no, but then again, 20, and then 21, yeah, it's weird that they're doing that, if that is the case. Um, what I'm getting at, <laughs> I should explain, um, is this shit right here, it looks like it's feeding into another elevator room. But if, again, usually they're not touching like that, they're not floor to floor, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's just this gap. Uh, by the way, what I originally had intended to do was go up to this floor, go all the way down here, which would lead me down here, which it's locked from that angle, so I was hoping I could get in via this route, then come up here, Go to Wasaba, whatever the hell that is, Wakasaba, that, <laughs> and then here. Um, hopefully go to the elevator room, but it ended up working out because this is an elevator room. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it was kind of my plan. I thought it would take a little bit longer. Also, plan changed. Um, also, I just ran through the level because I did try to fight in between that. Hopefully, I included it. It was sad. It was like I... It's, it's weird. My strat that I think works, <laughs> um, some people could disagree, and I couldn't quite... I think I could get bath them, but anyways, my strategy is just to kind of clear the level because I don't need any of the resources up there yet because I haven't upgraded my shit past three star. And when you get to four star, depending on the armor type, you need the higher level resources. But right now, I just need level thirty resources. But uh, but yeah, I, I, it's weird because I don't want to go back down. I mean, we've progressed past thirty, so I kind of didn't want to be like, hey guys, we're gonna go back because I I just didn't assume. Again, I thought. Uh, this maybe people can make it mad at this, but I I thought skill prioritized grind. No, <laughs> nope, not the case. Um, uh, maybe potentially though <laughs> to argue the other side. Maybe it could. It just it would take a thousand years like <laughs> to beat someone up. Or no, nah, I disagree. Cause when that when that softball launcher it two shots you if you're not a uh, a grade four a grade. Uh, was it for five fighter with uh, with eight thousand health and full armor, and it still two shots you? 
yet that's not there's no skill there it's like oh you can't get hit twice there's the skill gap it's like that's kind of just impossible considering almost every enemy has that um, also they, they like they spawn an enemy you down a hallway like a thin strip where you can't like go around them a person here a person here you're in the middle you're fucked so you got you got to have enough damage to cut through one of them so you can't just punch punch back up punch punch back up you can't play, play like the waiting game but, I had a fun time. <laughs> I didn't mean to like end it on like a, this game's pretty bliss. It just, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew where I'm coming from on on every attribute. But anyways, um, yeah, I think uh, the, the iron would be what it was uh, when you just got it if I were to get the fire damage increase. As well as the DoD shit, any DoD weapons and etc. get an increase. Um, hmm. Eh, that actually may be worth it right now. I'd be taking away my health, but then again, I feel like enemies cut through my health just as fast, so... I'm not sure if that's a reason why I should keep it. Um, but I'd want to take away the tank skill thing. Um, <laughs> do I have the... the one? Shit, I may not have the thing. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck, I don't. Well, I'll just grind and get that, but the one I'm talking about is this... where is it? <laughs> <laughs> this right here um, increases attack and defense on DoD arms and equipment by 7% which is pretty great Especially considering it's not just um, attack. It's like attack defense, etc um, So I really really want that I am one bronze off son of a but yeah, we progress a little bit. Um I'm still not there. I really think the things the things that I'm hoping to get um, so dearly uh, I've accomplished one goal which, <laughs> that goal is to uh, unlock this, the DIY attack code that gives me 700 offense. I thought that maybe would allow me to compete up topside. No, it still kicks, everything still kicks my ass. I need pants that also have the same amount of resistance. Um, so there's that. Um, so I'm trying to get that. The other thing I was on my list was to get a weapon that was at that floor's level. Like it was supposed to be able to compete there. I know this says three stars, but 500 damage on a weapon like this is more than enough as plus as it being aoe it just fits my playstyle and etc plus it is dod um and the cleaver is dod so the next thing on my list is to make the do or make the cleaver sorry the pork chopper not the cleaver i'm sorry it's just it's a fucking cleaver it's a giant <laughs> cleaver but um the thing on my list next is this uh, i want to get it to the, th the four star rating and when you guys are telling me there's like a thousand damage around there i'd imagine um so i really want to get that um as for my katana build it's more like it's no like it sounds shitty, but it's almost like fun isn't necessarily an option anymore It's kind of like this is how you do this without hating it so much So just go about buffing the stuff that you've already buffed and you'll have a lot better of time Which is I agree with <laughs> I think that's actually 100% true. So yeah, that's where I'm at uh, So again the next thing I'm working on is the pork chopper the next thing is pants then then the third thing is actually again like I said I was trying to buff uh my D.O. Oh, the, <laughs> this shit right here. Um, these. My D.I.Y. Attack Head. One, because I want to see what it looks like. Two, because it gives me health and, uh, dexterity. Dexterity, not necessary, but anyways. Um, this I could also upgrade. But, I just, I don't really, it was a do. It, why is it favor Dex? Is that right? Dex? Yeah, if muscles, then it goes Dex, yeah. Stupid. Again, the reason why those are my only choices, so to speak, is because I need it to be DOD, because I think that's way better to... It's way better to be brand-focused, as weird as it is. So again, like, uh, I think this will make a big difference. Maybe I'm not. Be sure to tell me in the comments. <laughs> if it's not, I'd hate to make this choice and then make it fail. But this, it says it gives you 20% defense. And then that other one that I think is pretty good is, uh, again, this thing right over here, which gives you 7 defense. I think, that's, I think that's pretty okay. I feel like that's a good trade, 20 to 7, maybe. I don't know. Um, but what I do know, guys, is again, um, I, as always, I just want to make sure that a part of this game is is it being unforgiving. I knew that at the beginning. I just, again, I thought it would be fun. <laughs> Still, as well as it being unforgiving, it has, like, moments of clarity. <laughs> when you get higher levels, it doesn't really have that. Um, also, when you guys were saying, I think, in passing, uh, that there are, uh, microtransactions that give you resources, um, I was lying. Uh, you're right, but I'm also right in the sense that I never meant it didn't give you any resources, I just meant it, they, they're not selling the right thing to you, I don't think. 
I'm like, it's like, hey, you can get uh, four green metal types. So it could be the same of one. It could be the same of one that you don't need. Anyways, not the point. Um, but you also have to buy 160 uh, death metals. And I'm like, all right, I would literally just, I would pay like $7 for seven <laughs> um, uh, green metals at this point. Um, or not green metals, it'd be black metals. And again, like, it's like, okay, well, I need black metals. It's like, oh, well, that's convenient. Um, are you willing to pay $133, um, for those black metals you need? Only four, but you get a lot of death metals. It's like, no, dude, I just want the resources. The, the one thing people have a problem with is the resources. It's not the black metals or, or, uh, no, it is the black metals, <laughs> sorry. It's not death metals. I've gotten by on zero death metals. I got two in my bank. I just re-fucking, I leave <laughs> when I, I just buy back my character. Um, so again, they're not selling resources, and if they are, it's like stuff like this, where it's like 30, like, it's like, oh, we, we can sell you all of these things, um, for, for a package deal, and I'm like, but I, I only want the one thing, uh, and I would prefer just the one thing, is that, why is that so hard <laughs> to get? Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at, <laughs> that's where I'm at. <laughs> Apparently this is free, it's the booster pack. Well, what does it give you? It probably just got one day express passes and some money, and then that's it. Probably some meats, which meat is stupid. It gives you express day pass to 10 death metals. Okay, I might buy that. <laughs> I might buy that. Just uh, Honestly, death metals are just storage space for me. Uh, kill coins. Uh, the Splatoonium. A uh, Splithium. I think that's how you say it. I just, I can't say it without my voice cracking like a little baby. So, you know, that, that's my situation. Restore 100% max HP. This content is available for a limited time, then just download it. Well, as always, um, I've slightly increased my ability to, to not drag ass, maybe? I probably not. I probably still just took a long time. But, regardless, guys, um, again, the intro thing, no longer gonna be there. I will pick and choose what videos I put it in, but for the most part, I just want to get into the main content. Um, but I also want to keep you guys up to date, especially with a game like this that is so, like, up in the air a little bit, like, you don't know what's gonna happen, and, and, and like, how the hell did you get that weapon, man? And I'm like, ah, I gotta tell you. <laughs> so, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. My name is Logan Andor Frost. So please subscribe button above me, as well as two videos to my right, your left. Thank you so much, and bye, guys.